A frightening 911 call reveals what a Los Lunas school dealt with after three students overdosed on prescription pills. And based on the call, Action 7 News reporter Matt Howerton explains how the teens were lucky they retrieved treatment so fast. Let's this a Valencia County dispatcher listened patiently last week as an educator at the School of Dreams Academy in Los Lunas described a nightmare situation. And we have three students, all ages of 14, 15, and 15, that have dropped high dosages of immediate release oxycodone. The school says three teens were hospitalized after taking large amounts of oxycodone. In the call, the educator says one of the teens took over 20 milligrams, while the other? A little girl took 15 milligrams and she's to put things into perspective, most doctors don't even recommend adults taking more than 9 milligrams of oxycodone per dose. At one point, you hear the school official telling people to get ready to do CPR. At least I'm on the phone and trying. So if they stop breathing, yep. 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 break some ribs. Then we hear the educator say this. That kid that's in Mr. Grego's office now, he stole them from his mom. Yet Los Lunas police never confirmed to Action 7 News that the pills the students took were stolen because they never did a police report. The students were only disciplined by the school, and that's it. Today, the principal for the school told us it stood by Los Lunas police and the decision it made to not investigate further. And we tried calling the Los Lunas Police Department about the incident to see why an investigation wasn't open, but no one got back to us.